tell you guys a story in a minute, all right? Oh, I like it, see? I told you. I want to come to you guys today looking a little bit different. I know guys, don't laugh at me. For those that are um, already subscribed to my channel and know who I am, thank you, welcome. Um, thanks again for being here. And those that do not know me, my name is Jeanette Cortez, I'm 44 years old and I suffer with a neuromuscular condition called muscular dystrophy that affects the muscles in my body. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> this is my son, Joey. Hello, I don't know if I can see him. <laughs> um, I'm feeling great today. Um, you guys, isn't this adorable? Uh, one of Joey's friends, oh, you guys know, Juana. Um, she had this and the pants that go to it, and it's so cute. I don't know, I, I, it must be like a costume. The, the pants, like from the waist to the crotch was like a purple velvet and then the legs were like bell bottoms like this, like really wide. It was so cute. Yeah, so here guys, I have a little bit of hummus. I love these things guys, don't y'all? The little um, pretzels, which I love to eat with that. And then in this bowl, back here, I have some cherries. And then of course, I shouldn't be drinking it, but a Coca-Cola. And last but not least, CBD oil. Guys, if you have any kind of pain, um, anxiety, problems with appetite, anything like that, I highly, highly suggest, recommend that you speak to your doctor about getting on some CBD oil. This is the best thing that I could have done. But anyway, on to the video. Today I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about an experience that I had years ago. First, I wanna say that if you're not 18, please don't watch this video. At least not without your parents. Um, Permission. Si no tiene 18 años, por favor, sin permiso de los padres, no vean este video because I'm going to be talking about drugs. The first time I tried acid, I figured what better topic to talk about wearing this. <laughs> I'm looking like this, right? So, for those of you that have seen my uh, story time one and two, um, I speak about um getting married uh at 16 at 17 i already had my daughter okay while i was pregnant i met a friend of mine she's still a friend till this day me and her we became friends we were really young we were both 16 and uh we never already knew each other for a couple of years and we had decided you know what let's she had tried it already and she wanted me to try it but i was always the chicken shit but she convinced me and they were little paper um little squares and then i guess they would whoever would you know um put a drop of the acid on it so a little piece of paper you would just put it on your tongue let it dissolve and then just wait when i tell you that that was the scariest experience in my life I'm not joking first I didn't feel anything but then I started to feel like okay where do things look like they're moving but they weren't the paint looked like it was dripping off the walls I was sitting in this chair and it was like you know one of those chairs that spin like the computer chairs and I was just sitting in it and I was just spinning 
and spinning and spinning. And I felt like literally like I was screwing myself into the ground. Like every time I was turning, I was going into the ground. That's crazy. It was the weirdest feeling. So me and her decided to go outside on her balcony. She was on the second story. She went inside to get um something. I don't know if she went to get something to eat or drink. Probably something to drink. What? I started looking around. And I see angels flying around. I see like clouds and it was heaven i i was about to jump and she came out she's like what are you doing i'm like look how beautiful it is it's so beautiful you know i'm gonna go i want to go and she like rushed me in the house i went back in the house she gave me water she tried to calm me down so we decided to watch Hellraiser. That's the worst you, thing you can do while you're tripping on acid. Oh my God. His face looked like it was coming out of the screen. Like it was going to get us. All these weird noises. We felt like there was somebody in the house. Um, I told her that I had to go. Because we got to a point where we kind of felt like we didn't feel anything anymore. So she was like, girl, I'm just going to go to bed. And I was like, yeah, me too. I'm just going to go. I'm gonna go home. She's like, you're gonna go home? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go home. I get my keys and I'm gonna go walk outside to go down the stairs. And every step that I took, I felt like my foot was like digging into each, like, it was like, I, it's so hard to explain. Like quicksand, like just sucking each one of my legs into each step. And if somebody was watching me, it must have been like three in the morning. But if somebody must, if what was watching me, they must have thought I was crazy because I must have looked crazy. Imagine you looking at somebody and you just see them going on the stairs, but they're just like trying to get their leg, lift their leg back in the day. I, I didn't, I, I walked and I walked, you know, way better, of course. Finally, I get in the car. I lock all the doors because now I'm all paranoid and scared. So I'm driving and all of a sudden, um, my windshield was so like smudgy and I could see like faces and all these like weird like monster looking things coming at me and I'm trying to drive I'm trying to stay focused but you know I'm hearing all these noises and I'm seeing all these faces and there was nothing there and then I felt a truck you know come by and no lie, it felt like like a train had went by, but like was constantly just going by me, like it wouldn't stop. It was so scary in the car I had at the time. It was a Subaru Justice, something like that. It was tiny, it was white, and it just felt like the whole car shook. And it wasn't a train. It obviously, it was just a little truck. Thank God the drive from her house to my house was only like 15 minutes. So I get to my house and I get in bed and I get all comfy. And the trip was weird because it would like, it would go away and then it would come back. Go away and then it would come back. And I called her when I got home to tell her I made it home okay. And she's like, oh my God, I'm tripping again when you come back. And I was like, hell no, girl, I'm tripping too. I tripped all the way over here. I am not going back over there. No way. Mm. I never, ever tried it again after that. The only thing I've ever really done was the acid and um, I've smoked uh, marijuana in the past. Oh, and I, and I did mushrooms. Like, I think I did one, I split a mushroom with my cousins and we were waiting and waiting for it to kick in. And all it did was just make us laugh. Like, we laughed like there was no tomorrow. Like, everything was hilarious. It hurt. Laughing so much hurt so bad. But anyway, 
I think when we're young, we all, you know, we want to experiment, we want to try things. Nowadays, I tell my kids, please be careful, don't, you know, because we don't know, you know, even back then, like, it was bad, like, we didn't know what was being put into these drugs. Now, it's it could be even worse. But then when they're older, they're like, oh, you know, I remember, you know, did you ever try this and that? And you don't want to lie. I partied. I used to go to clubs. I danced and I partied and I had a really good time. Um, but one of the, um, the worst things about tripping on acid was that, like, I could have lost my life. If I would have been alone, I think, maybe five more minutes or not even, I probably wouldn't be here today because I was getting ready to jump. It did look like heaven, it did look real, it felt real. Um, these drugs mess with your mind. But yeah, that was that was my story, guys. That was really wild. I know that I probably hyped it up more than what it was, but I was actually sitting here earlier and I wanted to, you know, come and say hi to you guys. You know, tell you guys something because I was supposed to go on live after I hit two, but I haven't really been feeling that good. And when I come on live, I want to feel good because I want to do stuff, you know, interactive stuff, stuff that you guys can participate. If there's any other stories that you guys want me to tell or anything else you want to know about me, please let me know. Actually, there's two videos I want to do. There's the can and cannot do's. I've had a few people ask me, like, can you explain how you do this or can you do that or can you do this? I want to make a video, but not just say what I can and cannot do. I want to show you guys what I can and cannot do. Unfortunately, as I'm progressing, my muscular dystrophy is progressing, you guys can see um, and, you know, come with me on this journey because this is going to suck, guys. I already noticed, like, my right arm is already getting really weak. My right leg, when Joey goes to stand me up, um, it's not really standing hard. It's buckling, yeah, my knees going out on me. So I'm already I'm noticing that. Um, and that wasn't like that um, three or four weeks ago. So, like I said, little things that um, I wanna I wanna show you guys and I wanna share with you guys. So. Please um, thank you again for being here and listening to my crazy story, uh, which is not that crazy, I'm sure. Um, trust me, I do have a lot of more crazier stories that I can tell that I used that I've done, but I don't know. I I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But I did, like, I was a bad girl when I was younger. Like, I just never got caught. <laughs> but I do have a lot of stories. Don't let the wheelchair and the disability fool anybody. Okay? It's crazy. It was crazy. Um, I was born in 1975. I got married in 1993, or I'm sorry, 91. So, you know, that time between 93 that I got divorced to like 2006, I want to say, those years were, whoo, a lot went on in those years. And a lot of good, a little, a lot of bad. And a lot of blessings that I would love to share with you guys. Again, thank you for being here. I'm going to finish my cherries. I love you guys. Don't forget, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, leave me a nice comment. And if um, you don't want to, then that's okay too. I was supposed to make this uh, video in Spanglish. And I forgot. Don't hit me. See, I don't get fin. I'm so sorry. Perdona me. I need to practice. When I'm not recording, I'm always speaking Spanglish.
As soon as the camera comes on, English. What's up? Alright. Bye, guys. Good night. I didn't see your makeup. All that for nothing. Oh, okay. I thought I could see it from far away. No, close your eyes. Yes, I did it to match the shirt. What do y'all think? This was Joey's work, guys. I'm, I'm trying really tight to close my eyes. Are they closing? Mm -hmm. Are they really? Yeah. Really? Kind of, yeah. Now I want to go down here. Okay, guys, look. This is regular. Okay? Regular. Now I'm going to go, and I'm going to go tight. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. Okay, now smile. Teeth. No teeth. No smile. Okay, you know, everything in your eyes closed. All right, love you, bye.